Hi, this is Katie and I'm the writer for IT Foodie and I'm going to talk to you today about Evernote. Um, this is my Evernote account. You can see you know, a pretty good sense of what one can look like. I've got all my notebooks in this area and I can just add a new notebook just by clicking one of these guys buttons. Here are all the tags um, so that as I'm tagging things I can then look them up this way. You can search. I could search within folders which is kind of handy. Um, I can add new notes here and then if I clicked new note you can see here I could give it a title, I could tell it which notebook it's going to go into, I can connect the link and then I can add all of my content right here. Um, how this works is the bookmarking tools. If you notice I've got two little Evernote book, um, bookmarking tools. One of which is this guy right here and that's called Evernote Clearly and I got him through Evernote's site you would just Google Evernote Clearly. Um, this other one was an add-in I got through Mozilla Firefox by searching their Evernote in their plugins and then Mozilla took care of installing them. Both do kind of two different things for me so I'll try to show you what, what each one of them does. So for instance Let's say I have this article, which is something I got from a, a Google Plus community I'm in, and I didn't have time to read it when I found it, so I sent it to Evernote to look at later. But let's look at Evernote clearly first. I'm going to click on Evernote clearly. This will take it a little bit. But it's basically giving me the bare bones version of this, and that's what Evernote clearly is for. It's going to take out all the ads, it'll take out all the background and then just leave you with the content which is kind of fantastic. Um, in Evernote clearly I can also um, you can see I can just clip it as is into my blogging notes. Um, I can highlight and like I said this is my favorite part of it so I've read it through once um, what I want to keep is the knowledge that when I'm making a Google Plus story, which is in the About Me section of Google Plus, you want to add keyword phrases. I know it's not a big deal. I could probably remember that on my own, but just to show you. So now that part is highlighted, so I can look for that highlighting later. You can also change the theme. So let's say you don't like that dark color, I can change it to a white background, and then my highlight shows up really well. Um, I can also do things like print it from here, and again, this is nice because it'll not print all the ads and all the extra junk, it's just going to print just the article. And I've already clipped this to clearly, so that's done, and now I can go back to how it looked originally. With my other, other Evernote button, it's going to give me a couple extra things. There it goes, sorry, a little slow. <laughs> um, so here, again, same deal, I can change uh, the blogging notes section, what file do I want it to be under. Here's where I'd add my tags. Um, so really, what I keep Evernote clearly for is, especially when I'm just reading, if I just don't want to deal with other stuff, I would click Evernote clearly, and then if I want to keep it, I can. Also, if I'd want to highlight, I'd use Evernote clearly. But just for bookmarking tools, I would use this other one. Here I can add my tags. And I can even here add a comment. So now I know why I even wanted it. Um, if I pull down this little guy here, what you notice, it's going to give me the option of clipping the article, which is what clearly does. It just just highlight the article. It's also going to say I can clip the full page, which would take everything, ads and all. Um, I can also just clip the URL. Um, clipping the URL is really good for if you have a website that has tons of pictures and graphics or a slideshow, none of that would save really well in Evernote, so you would just want to save the link. So I'm going to just go back to article, hit clip article, and it's done. 
I can view it from here. I can edit. Say I wanted to edit. Now I've gone back to Evernote's editing. Um, it looks like the color again clearly would have taken out all of this so it's just the bare basics um, but I kept all the original look to it from here I can be pretty intrusive in this thing I could oops, highlight it and change font color which might be a good way of telling me what stuff I want to read later I can bold parts I can underline highlight um, I can cross through um, if there's parts of this I don't need just delete them. <laughs> um, there's even this little guy right here which will insert a checkbox to do so if there was a list of things in this article that I wanted to do I could add those and check them off as they finish so really at this point this article has become my thing to mangle and alter and do whatever I want with so as you can see Evernote's kind of awesome and pretty handy and I hope you try it.